Welcome to the Worldwide Arena, and Mike today joins me here on commentary. The living legend Larry Zabisco still back in catering. And I tell you what, Mike, first, welcome back from Hollywood. Great to have you back doing the real work of World Championship Wrestling. Hello? Well, it's great to be back with WCW here on WCW Worldwide after spending, well, over a month out in Hollywood with the WCW feature film from Warner Brothers, Ready to Rumble. Oh, five grand right there. Look for it in a theater near you in the year 2000. Are you writing out your check? Can we say that? Honestly, it's been a couple of weeks since the brutal attack by Jeff Jarrett. Glomped you with the guitar in Denver on Nitro. Bring us up to stuff on your condition. Well, I'm doing just fine. I mean, it was just a couple of days where I was a little dazed and confused. That was actually Denver where he hit me? I well, think Denver. I thought it was Detroit. Well, there you go. Well, I'm not really sure. They both start with a D. Anyway, Jeff Jarrett and I, Alex, it's turned into a very personal situation and everything really evolving around the powers that be. And ever since they've taken control here in World Championship Wrestling, they've done everything that they can to slap tradition right in the face. And anyone that has had any kind of a long-term history with WCW seems to be well, on the outs with the powers that be. Well, I know that they pulled a Buddy Landell on you and no-showed your meeting in Atlanta. You wanted to get Jarrett suspended, fined, or both. And, and, and they were nowhere to be seen. You had a meeting set up. I guess it really shouldn't surprise me, especially when you talk about the world of professional wrestling and how there's so much at stake and everybody's in this for themselves. Powers that be. Yeah, they no-showed the meeting, but we'll see what happens in the weeks to come with Jeff Jarrett and myself. Oh, boy. Are you going to dog the tights and get in there and mix it up with uh, Double J? I never said that, but I tell you what, wouldn't surprise me if I start taking matters into my own hands real soon. Ouch! Man, Jeff Jarrett, call your service. Lash LaRue and Al Green doing battle here on Worldwide. And Lash LaRue of late, striking up a partnership with the Disco Inferno as Disco continually on the run from Big Vito and Johnny the Bull. There's really been a lot of strange alliances that have formed in the past couple of weeks in WCW. Probably the most outrageous was Goldberg and Sid Vicious. Oh, man. Right on the heels of that. Jeff Jarrett, who we just spoke about, and the Outsiders, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. But as far as Lash LaRue with the Sunset Flip trying to get the big man over, down goes Green. Oh, got it, though. No. Lash LaRue and his alliance with the Disco Inferno, well, it's a combination of things. Yes, it's respect mutually between the two, as well as, well, a partnership out of necessity to try and, uh, well, stay out of Tony Marinera's thug's way. I believe it. Well, those guys are all over the place. Did you see Lash LaRue do the Bourbon Street Blues and Big Al Green just cut him off in mid-blue, as it were? Gut wrench. Salto takes him up. Oh, inverted. Nice slam. Hooks the leg. Is this it? No. Lash kicks out at two. Well, you mentioned that Bourbon Street Blues move from Lash LaRue. And if there's any friction at all between the new tag partners, Disco Inferno and Lash, it's over that move. I can tell you that Disco has already pointed out to me on several occasions that he's not too thrilled when Lash does the Bourbon Street Blues. He, he thinks it takes away from Disco's own deal. Just about a week away from the granddaddy of them all, and as I said earlier, not Chick Donovan, but Starcade, the last Starcade of the millennium. Starcade 99 from the MCI Center in Washington, D.C. Bret Hart and Goldberg. There must be a winner and we will find out who is the man. Is it the excellence of execution or the bomb? It's going to go down at Starcade. Another situation there where there's total respect from both competitors. The stipulations recently added that there must be a winner and no disqualification. Well, I think that really pleases both competitors. Both men know how to be just as dirty as they come. And that may happen at Starcade. Big Gorilla Press slam oh. out green and flash. Face first into the canvas. That may do it. Al Green sets Lash up for the pile drive. This may be it. Oh, no. Just a forearm into the small of the back. Ooh, that's a unique offensive move. I'm telling you. The old Rochambeau. And Lash LaRue stands him up, doubles him over. Set, oh, here we go. Whiplash. LaRue has Al Green up. I got a whiplash him. Right back down to the canvas. He has won so many matches with that maneuver. Is another one? Yeah. Lash LaRue is your victim. Lash LaRue puts his opponent up in the fireman's carry. Then drives him down to the mat with authority. 
and the ensuing pinfall, the three count, and another victory for Lash LaRue, the Raging Cajun, via the whiplash. The May-December romance of Evan Courageous and Medusa will continue. Evan and Mrs. Robinson are next.